This video is about Trendelenburg, right? The Trendelenburg sign. Often we are confused which side actually we are checking on the side we are standing or the side which is in the air, right? That is off the ground. See, how we do Trendelenburg sign is you stand behind the patient, right? And you ask the patient to stand on both the limbs parallel to each other. When the patient stands on both the limbs parallel to each other, what ideally should happen is that both the ASIS both the ASIS should be at the same level if he's a normal person right so when the patient stands with both the feet with both the feet on the ground then both the ASIS will be at the same level okay both the pelvis ilia ilium should be on the same plane right now ask the patient what we do is we ask the patient to lift the left leg right the right limb is on the ground now you must understand if this side is off the ground that means this becomes a unsupported side so this is unsupported side so this one will be unsupported so left side is unsupported that means ideally it should fall down when the patient lifts the left leg this side is unsupported off the ground and it should ideally fall down but what actually happens is that the other side the right side the abductors attached here what they do is they will just try to pull the pelvis to make it remain on the same plane therefore if the patient is normal what he will do he will lift this side of pelvis more in the proximal side as compared to the other side so you can see in this particular picture what you observe this side of pelvis is at a slightly lower level this side is at a slightly higher level because this patient is normal so when he lifted the left side when the left side become unsupported the right side supported it as the right side musculature were fine they made this pelvis to get elevated now let's suppose of a pathological condition in which the abductors are not working fine situation second here is the right side again is on the ground left side is off the ground and if the abductors are weak here what is going to happen this abductor mechanism cannot keep the opposite pelvis on the same level and therefore it will droop down right this is what you call Trendelenburg sign so remember that we are checking for the side on which we are standing we are checking for the side on which we are standing and if this mechanism of the side on which we are standing is not proper if it is failed then the other side will fall down so we don't see this side falling down as abnormal the side abnormal is this one which cannot maintain the opposite pelvis on the same level that is Trendelenburg do not forget this